All right, everybody. Welcome back to some more Chromiel the Fallen Angel in Baldur's Gate 3. I've actually had to take a little bit of a break because I, I was sick. I'm still sick. But let's just say I'm slowly recovering, I guess. Uh, my main issue is still my throat, as per usual. So I am hoping not to randomly cut in the middle of any sentences that I may or may not have. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yes, I had to take about a 10 break, uh, 10, uh, 10 day break. <clears throat> I can't speak all of a sudden. It's been a while since I've had to speak, actually. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been a good couple of couple of days since I've last played some Baldur's Gate. And I need to remember what exactly is it that I, we are doing here. So last time, <clears throat> I need to recall. So, I don't see anything that we should be doing here. I assumed last time we had something to do here, as in maybe a cutscene of some sort. But apparently not. Maybe something story related. Maybe we see Halsin over here. Let's try to find Halsin while I'm trying to re recover the memories that I once had. <laughs> oh, there's Halsin. Alright. So, um, last time we gave Karlak the Saiyan trait. We are using the Dragon Ball mod, which uh, I have actually linked in the first video of this series. Halcyon doesn't seem to want to talk to us, but I'll try anyway. Okay. All right, let's 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 Impressive. see. Most would quake at the mere thought of delving that far into the underdark. What did you find? I'm gonna come back at the the class changes we've made. We we kind of multiclassed a couple of the characters in the Dragon Ball classes. So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that later after I finish this dialogue right now. Right now, <clears throat> my throat is still busted. I'm sorry. Okay, absolute followers, dangers. I've got more exploring to do. Hmm. Danger. I'm certain the underdark is dangerous. Yes, but the alternative is suicide. Be patient and okay, be so. The path will reveal itself in time. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. Am I supposed to still be in the Underdark? Okay, we don't care about the rest of the things. Also, I've noticed uh, most of my party members don't really agree with my decisions so far <laughs> anyway uh we've made probably a bunch of controversial decisions during this playthrough but it's fine uh so karlak is a saiyan now we are a uh i can't see it here hold up we gave uh, kremiel the frieza clan class okay Shadowheart is a Z fighter and so is Lazel. Astarion is a uh, a full blood letter still. Because um well I just decided it was not worth skipping on this, if I recall correctly. So yeah, everything that's that's not been Dragon Ball multiclassed will receive its class later. This guy is still a fiend because, um, yeah, we got this and we got a bunch of new stuff as well. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna skip a, a 76 psychic for, well, garbage, which is the level 1 Dragon Ball traits, uh, things. And, um, yeah, we got Aether Lance for Gale. It, it's an 8d4, I'm sorry, I can't skip this. That said... Gale's going to be a time traveler, a Kai, okay, basically. Um, of the people. I am not sure what I will do with Will. Keep your and I'm also not really all that much sure about what I'm gonna do with this guy. 
I am thinking we make a Starion an Android, maybe? Either that or a Frieza class, which would make sense because he's an assassin. Uh, Will? I, I actually think he's the only one that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> it's fine. We'll see about it. We will see about what we do with the wheel, if you know what I mean. Alright, go to bed. And, uh, actually, I think I need to check my quests for once. Let's see. Uh, hide completed. Have we not rescued Volo? I'm sorry, what? This is Volo right here. Have I not talked to Volo since rescuing his ass? Yes, my friend? No, I have. I'm sure I have. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> have I really not talked to this guy? Is my job, my friend. If there's anything in the world worth I knowing, recalled the party. I assure you, I do. Okay. Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. Around no, I'm pretty sure we've talked to him, because I remember all of this. Close. Oh, uh, sure. Here, on the Sword Coast. I thought it's I could possible. skip. Can I skip? Is there a, a way to skip? If there's a way to skip dialogue, let me know. That... that can't be. I have killed one, yes! I was captured! I'm lucky to be alive. You're mad! But... tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Yes, we are being infected. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Yes, tell, tell me more. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, mm -hmm. I can only assume you haven't been infected. Never mind. You! Infected by a mind flare, isn't it? Of course. Utterly ridiculous. Still, there'd be no harm in me taking a teensy look, would there? I know all the signs. Okay. But I'm pretty I'm still pretty sure we have talked to Volo. And he's done this before, as he checked us for the mind flare. My reshade is on, right? I, I keep, I keep having to check. I could quickly. <laughs> oh, dear sweet gods! Yes. I need to if get rid of this. It, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Oh, you hold up. So did I not talk to Volo? Remedial rhymes when you inspire an ally using a bardic inspiration or combat gospel you get. Okay. Interesting. I... I was not aware that I did not talk to Volo. So, are we good yet? Okay. This one seems to be bugged. I have yet to actually see Saza. Let's see, we got travel to the mountain pass. Or the Underdark. Or can we do both? I don't know which one's better, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, find the Githyanki crash. We have yet to actually get there because it's probably towards Moonrise Towers. Embrace your potential. 
So I am supposed to embrace. Hmm. And then we get another one that's telling us to find Gityanki Crash. And then one about Prince Orpheus, which is a gift. Hmm. The feet do. These are. Um. Uh, these are not completed. What? Okay, we gotta go back to the Myconid Sovereign. The guy that actually ditched us after we revived him, by the way. Deep Gnomes. Pick up Forge Iron. Have I not? I am pretty sure I was in Adamantine Forge last episode. Yes. I do have the item. Do I have to equip it so the game actually knows that I got it? Or what is this? Oh, okay. The fudge? Psychic leech? What is this? When did I get this? <laughs> Why do I not remember these? I am confused. Are these something from the mods? Did these have to be from the mods? Alright, uh, I can't use this. Because um, it's heavy armor. I think I can't use it. Or can I? I? It seems like I can. It doesn't say that I'm not proficient. It seems like I, I can just straight up use it. Huh. Damn, that's crazy. Short skirt headwear. What? <laughs> Okay, I need to check these. Obviously, this is a, another short skirt. We don't care about skirts, what? I already have the... Costume. Let's check this helmet. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this? Bro. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry, that looks so bad. Actually looks so bad. Let me hide it. Actually looks bad, I'm sorry. Right. Let's see. Is there anything that is better than this? This gives me Hunter's Mark. I mean, it's not bad. It is always prepared, needs long rest. It's concentration. Which I do not like. And I, I, it needs a bonus action. So, can I only use this once? Because it needs long rest? I am assuming this is a one-time use, so it's hella bad, actually. That said... That said... I am high... I am gonna be resistant to fire. High fire resistance. And then we get the uh, attacker's Catland critical hits. Which I feel like is very good. Very good. Gotta remember, Kremiel is my tank. Okay? But she a proper full-fledged tank. Is there anything... Oh, I have cloaks. I did 100% from the mods. Well, might as well make use of them, I guess. Let's see now. I was not aware I have these. I, I have, uh, well, bed stuff for that. Let's see, underwear? Do we get anything that is... No? Okay. <laughs> I have to check. The, the advantage on melee attack rules is pretty nice. Unfortunately, I have no AoE damage. So let's see if we can get anything new. 
Okay, throw attacks. No, we don't care about that. Okay, nothing. Alright, we only have uh, the cloak. We do have access to cloak, though, so... Um... Okay... So we get displacement, which is disadvantage on attack rolls on everything. Nothing has anything else. Alright, I'm gonna have to turn to normal. And, um... Do I go with a necklace? You know what? The collar seems like the best choice. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's fine. What if... Um, what if a night song necklace? How does it look? I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not good either. Um, Yeah, I think I'll just go with the courtesan thingy. The courtesan collar. It's fine. Short necklace? Nah. Daisy necklace plus armlet. Leather top. Sure, actually this doesn't alter anything. It only gives us a leather top. Which is not bad actually. Okay. So we have now a uh, displacement, which says at the beginning of the wearer's turn, the cloak activates, granting enemies disadvantage on attack rolls that target the wearer. This effect lasts until the wearer takes damage. So it's not overpowered, overpowered, but I mean, it is what it is. I still have this anvil. I, I have no idea how to use these. So I'm expecting the game to teach me at some point. I still have these, which I don't really need, to be honest. I think I gave uh, Shadowheart something? No, did I not? Did I not pick up the armor? I am confused. Did I forget to pick up the armor? I, I may have forgotten to pick up the armor. I need to check actually need to check I, I also kind of need to give everybody well something okay protection from evil and good you know what this is not that bad actually Black Mizora robes. I could just go with this, but... I think this is actually better. Is it just me? I'm losing one AC. But my cantrips on will do damage equal to charisma modifier, which is very high, actually. Hmm. Confusion. Alright, um, sure. I'll give him, let's see, <clears throat> rich necklace, of course. The pride of the gate. What's the story? Carla gets, um, let's see, something, maybe a leather top. <clears throat> <clears throat> My throat, though. Okay. That's fine. Action, not reaction. I don't think it matters for um, Lazel, honestly. This is a little bit buggy, but it's fine. Oh. Game saved. 
Hmm. Rich necklace. Sure, I'll give her a rich necklace as well. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Well, hello. I'll just give a study on something as well, real quick. How about um? Let's see, longer corset plus fancy top. I'm gonna just give him the absolute necklace. May I think it actually makes sense on him. And sure. I mean, we don't really care. We just want the effects, honestly. But I seem to recall making armor. Did I not make the armor, or did I forget to actually get the armor? I may have forgotten to actually get the armor. I don't recall being at the Adamantine Forge. We need to go back. I do recall being at that Adam Adamantine Forge. Where is my armor though? What is this? Gift from the Absolute. Ah. Interesting. I need to check real quick in these inventories again, because I do not remember randomly losing uh, <laughs> the armor. Why is this so much damage all of a sudden? Was it always 6 to 20? Huh. Anyway, I, I, don't, I do not like this one because some um, chance to stun the wielder, unless it's a construct, which we are not on anybody. I wonder if Android counts. Hmm. Doubt, but... Yeah. We do have Missy Step on this one. If we really want it. That is. At some point, I'm gonna have to... You know, switch off of... Uh, being dumbass broken oath paladin. If you know what I mean? How do you get rid of that? It's It's been so long, I have yet to actually figure it out. Let's go to sleep. <sighs> sleep well. Oh. Between dreams and nightmares. Hello. Maybe is that a Starion? Because you know something is wrong. Or maybe yep, that's a Starion. You just get lucky. Shit. Shit. <laughs> No, no. It's uh, that was funny, way. bro. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed. Bro, look at Lazel just pulling up the bow. Then, uh. in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is—a vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. Nice canine, brother. Melee attack. <laughs> no, we don't kill a Starion. No. I, I can't believe we didn't see it, but no, we don't kill a Starion. I need him. I'm not some monster. We did see the boar. I feed on animals. Boars. Deer. Cobras. Motherfucker, is Kremiel a boar to you? <laughs> Just too slow right now. Too oh my weak. god. Alright. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Please. Hmm. A strange sensation. A bloodletter vampire is asking me for the blood. Wait, he is supposedly gonna get stronger if I give him the blood, right? Hmm. Sterion minus five. It is wisdom. No, we don't push into his mind. Why didn't you tell me though? That is the question. But why? No. I needed you to trust me. Motherfucker, we have a git. We have a devil. I am a half angel tiefling. Do you really think a vampire was on my mind? Hmm. Yeah. I will believe Asterion because I need him on my side. He's one of the strongest members we got. Trust me, just a little further. I seem to recall Asterion. I'm gonna spoil something real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, close your ears for the next like 
15 seconds. <clears throat> so, if you close your ears, um, it's fine. If not, well, it's fine. I will spoil something. Uh, I haven't played with a Stargard much, but I seem to recall him giving us access to a strength plus one potion or something. Alright. <clears throat> Not sure when that is, though. Spoiler over. <laughs> so, I do want him on my side. But, okay, fine. Not a drop more than you need, though. Really? I... Of course. I did need him to improve his, uh... Let's make ourselves comfortable. Mm. Rather, I needed Cremiel to improve her likability. Bro, the eyes. Oh my god. Alright. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing. Wait, he ain't gonna stop, is he? Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Wait, I am undead. I will revive if I die. I am not in combat. What if I let him kill me, though? Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Let him continue. To him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. My guy is not gonna stop. Alright, we, we have to stop him. I will try to persuade. It's 15 DC. That's hard. Oh, sheesh! That was unexpected. <laughs> uh, of course. All right, I, I did give him a massive boost, probably. Swept up in the moment. Hmm. All right. I really do hope he gets stronger after this. Honestly. I feel good. Strong. Happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take <laughs> so many people need kill. That is true. Now, if you're and we are only in the first act of the game. But I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You Watch better not. I just realized um I increased my contrast, I lowered my gamma, and I got a better looking game. <laughs> even even better than it looked before. Ooh, your armor squeams against your body. Uh, squirms, not squeam. What? Squeam? Is that a word? <laughs> your armor squir squirms against your body, ready to evolve. It struggles, though, seemingly not having enough energy to do so. Perhaps you need to sate it more before resting. Waking up, your body feels different yet again. You feel sluggish and soft. Your muscles have shrunk. Seemingly turned to fat in other places. Motherfucker, what? I'm getting sick. <laughs> Wait. Bloodless. Ah, yes, of course. I am feeling a bit woozy. Minus one to attack rolls and everything. Oh my god, Astarion, what did you do? Alright, how do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of blood loss? What if, um, I do have, let's see, I seem to recall having this. Can I consume? I can't? I can't. Why not, though? Why not? How do I get rid of this? Okay, Astarion, you bastard. Alright, it's time for the Necromancy of Ty. It is time. I have put this off long enough. Time to read again. I'm expecting something new this time as well. Much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, okay, do I not have said key? I do not have said key. That's annoying. Uh, Volo seems to need something. We have, let's see, Stadion, Volo, the puppy. Yeah, yo, pupper! Hold up. A ball, held a ball. In his mouth. Ah, yes. We will handle you with care. Nah. 
<laughs> we use the strength. No, don't do the elixir of Colossus. We don't need that. We do not need that for a puppy. That said, we almost lost this roll. I am hoping my voice sounds okay. I did mess a little bit with my microphone's uh, filters in OBS. It is well chewed and slick with drool. Pet the doggy. Yes, yeah, scratch, scratch. <laughs> okay. I received the ball. I seem to have uh, something. Night event. Hmm. Interesting. It's probably daytime though. Let's talk to Volo. My friend! How do you fare? Mm, did we get anything with your research? Ah. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Uh, I doubt. It's not too deep. Just nah. Fuck your needle, bro. <laughs> I've in my nah, he's gonna kill me. We don't do that. No, nah, we don't. We do not do that. Nah. 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 We do. We do not do that. This guy is gonna thrust a fucking needle in my head. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. I do not trust a bard. With a needle to put it through my skull. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Alright, Astarion, I hope you are ready for the actual proper fights. Good morning. How do you Bloodless. Feel? I'm fine, a little woozy. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. Okay. Abide from them and you might Damn, this much looks kinda nice. Like my good self. I, I don't recall, but does Baldur's Gate have uh, ray tracing? How about path tracing? Hmm, I don't think it does. But this looks really fire. Hold up. Oh, this looks kind of nice in default graphics as well. Hmm. Yes. Is that how you could stand in the sun? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen ah, so it's the tadpole. Years okay. We crashed here. Someone. Kremiel really do be looking like she belongs in the Freeza clan, though. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering. Okay, I, I need to remember something. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. Hmm. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. Motherfucker, as long as. As long as you don't try to kill me again, that's fine. If I can help, just ask. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these. Uh, Why do I like a Starion all of a sudden? <laughs> I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's. Speaking of people with torches and pitchforks. Wow. Why is Will half naked? What the fuck? Us? Of one sort or another. I hope he got something on those um, balls, if you know what I mean. He, okay. <laughs> what is that? I, I know I gave him something, but what is that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I trust him. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of... Gale doesn't like it, but I'm pretty sure Gale likes us the most, so it's fine. I just better not wake with any holes in my Bro, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, I Did I give him a tongue? <laughs> or something? Oh my god, Will, what the flip? Alright, hold up. <laughs> hold the phone. I need to see this. Where is- oh my god, bro. Alright, I, I need a first person mod. 
Oh my god, William! Look at the balls! <laughs> Jesus! Okay. The Blade of Frontier. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. <laughs> How in the hell did you get involved with Mizora? Uh, we do need to tackle that one as well. Out of house and home. Oh my I god. I can't utter the terms or circumstances <laughs> of the pact. Oh shit, me, that's funny. But the pact, I'm forbidden. Unless Mizora permits it. But I'll say this. Uh. The moment I pacted myself to Mizora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Oh my god, might as well give him bloopers at this point. <laughs> okay, hold up, I gotta change that real quick. Oh my god. Wait, this is default? <laughs> no, we're not having that. How about a corset? No? Wait, I am confused. <laughs> All right, it's fine. I don't know what's happening here. It's it's fine. It's fine. Is it this? The charming lord shirt. Sure, it's not. Something is overriding everything. It is weird. Okay. Damn, bro. Alright, how do I get uh, rid of this bloodlust thing? Or, uh, bloodless, rather. I need to get back to Adamantine Forge. Check the armor. I do believe we have slept. So let's leave camp. Alright. Jesus. Okay, we spawn right here. That is good. I did forget to get the adamantkin scale mail, okay. Why are you going into fire? Hello? Random. Well, Will is quite literally staying in said fire. Alright. So oh my god, angry. what are you people doing though? Mm. I do so very like spicy food. I need I need to move these people out of here. Who is this? Shadowheart? Why are you sitting in the flames? That's lava, sister! Alright, Gale. Where is your your thing? Okay. So, I said I would give this to... This is very rare medium. Hmm. Did I... Try to give this to Shadowheart? I don't recall. What is reeling? Oh, you know what? This actually kind of makes sense for Shadow Heart because of the, the Forge thing. Okay. It... I was gonna say it doesn't look bad, but that looks god awful. Oh my god. Was that the corset? It is. Alright, I'm gonna have to give her, let's see. I'm gonna just give her the, the Night Song Necklace. And... Uh, sure, I actually don't dislike this. Adamantine armor looks kind of sick on her, actually. Alright. I don't think we need anything else. Hmm. We do have medium armor, though. So, maybe... I think I give Lazel some armor as well. I do recall having some extra molds for armor. Split mold, that is heavy armor though. Uh, I'm gonna keep that for Kremiel. But I should probably use the splint. Let's see now. No use. It's blocked. Uh whoops. Let's eject. At the ready. 
Might as well just straight up teleport with Gale. Oh wait, I can do another scale mold. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Hold up. I'll make it another one specifically for Lazal. Because this seems busted. I don't really need the heavy thing. I don't think I need sword. I don't even know if the sword is better or worse than what I got currently. I don't need the mace. I think what mace, shadow heart, and cranial have are much better. I said I could be wrong. But armor should definitely be the play. I need to check again. Did I actually give the use rather the, the correct mold? Let's see. Surely I did not put the heavy one. Okay. You have my attention. And then uh, I think we have to oh whoops. Hold up. Give me a second. I forgot how this works. Not as bad as it could have. Okay, we need to insert the mithral ore. I don't think we need the rest. So it should be fine. Great, let's use the forge. Boom. Um. Confusion. What am I doing wrong? Is it the heat? Is this thing not turned on? Am I having some, some glitching? Oh, we got visual glitch. Alright. I see how it is. No wonder they took no damage. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Is this not it? Okay, thank god, bro. You had me worried. Okay. Alright, we got another adamantine scale mail. I'm giving this to uh, Lazel. Because this is very strong. <laughs> it is very strong, actually. It's much stronger than what she got, that's for sure. See what I mean? This is much stronger. Even though it's only a plus one. The, the no crits and the reduced damage. Very cool. Alright. No uh, I need to figure out where exactly am I heading after this. So. Wait, could I drink the blood? Is that even possible? No, I cannot interact with it. How do I get rid of this bloodless thing? Maybe I need the full rest for a couple days? It's fine. I will play like this. Kremiel's a tank anyway. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I need to make use of these soul coins. I have never actually used this <coughs> on Karlak. <clears throat> I need to sort through my inventory at some point. I can carry a lot of weight. Oh my god. I just realized. Okay. So... Let's see. Daughter of Darkness. Uh, travel with Karlak. Play the Frontiers. Okay. Wizard of Waterdeep. Okay, so we just travel with these. Nothing else. Unlock the Ancient Tome. Destroy the book. No, we don't destroy the book. We need to unlock the book. We need to be said evil. Hmm. I mean, at, at this point, I am basically playing a... Evil playthrough, kinda. I am hoping I can redeem myself, though. Listen, if Frieza could, so can Kremiel. <laughs> Alright, I don't really know where to go. I got I got two options. Because I believe I have fully explored Underdark. 
Oh wait, I do need to go back to the the Myconid. Is there a way to travel back faster? Um, under the dark search tree was this? Uh, oh, there's a Myconid colony. All right. Okay. Where is where where is the sovereign? Where is the sovereign? I forgot. Oh, he's up. Or is that the oh no, that's the gnome. It's fine. I need to talk to the gnome anyway. Beldron, Wilson, Tula. Maybe we can still go back to the others. No, Lunkbug. Our work is bigger than any one of us. Uh, I don't exactly know who I need to talk to. I'm not gonna Thanks lie. again for offing that drow. I only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us. Stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. Okay, we do need to remember that I have, in fact, um, s uh, not saved, but rather not killed Mizora. The Mykonids are trying to help. Uh, not Mizora. I forgot her name. My friends in Moonrise. The Drow in the Goblin uh, Stronghold. Hey, Let's talk to Tula. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. Surely we this doesn't count as an evil playthrough. Because we are saving people. Like I say, we Iron Hands make good friends. But bad enemies too. Some folk are about to be reminded of that. Okay. Well, anyway. Ah, greets you with a harrowing sovereign spa. Cheerless as the new moon. This is not the same sovereign. The Duergar are slain. Shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Peacebringer. Ah. I am Peacebringer, Oathbreaker. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds so weird. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. Okay. What can I take though? The guardian gate is open. Oh! Oh, so this is a way to open that. You have cut out the Dwergar blight, but not its source. Okay. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. What? Near. This one is I called. did. He hunted us. Hunted oh, you're asking me to actually bring you his head. his head. I need to go back. Bam. Always another evil to correct. Always another monster. You know, to slay. high contrast in this game looks very good. I'm sorry, but the darker it is, the better this looks to me. Uh, near his head, but his head is lost to me. Then the circle is safe if you speak true. Peace, Springer. Thank God I don't have to go and search for his damn head. Jesus. Gale plus one. What? Oh, okay. I see. So we just got a plus one from Gale. He approved of something. Alright. I am a priest peace bringer, the Oathbreaker. <laughs> Jesus, that sounds weird. Anyway. Reach Moonrise. 
233, reach Sovereign's Refuge, defeat the Duergar Intruders. Have I not? Uh, that is a little bit weird. All right, Gale, do your magic. Seek and you shall find me. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Where is the best, the best spot to teleport at? Maybe we can still go back to the other. No what do you mean too far? I'll just travel with Gale because he's faster. And the rest can just follow. Surely. If not, I can just do this. I Game? Can I please switch? Thank you. Alright, we got a pale corpse. Might as well, um, you know, speak with the dead. Oh, I gotta remember. I need to um, add the buffs. Magic armor and such. I have rested. Who is you? Uh, how'd you die, though? Summon spectator. Summoned spectator. Oh, damn. My guy had to meet Cthulhu. You know what I mean, the... The one-eyed freak. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Tentacle, one-eyed mother yucker. Oh, what were you fighting over, though? Glory. Ah, the Adamantine Forge. Good place, good place. I can always go back. Forge. What can I do with the Adamantine Slags, though? So this guy is one of those that we have just uh, destroyed earlier in the playthrough when we came uh, near the, the the temple. I think it was uh, Temple of Saluna, if I recall. If you recall, it was the the dudes that were being uh, held as statues, basically kind of hostage by the spectator, the one-eyed tentacle creature. That kind of looks like Velkos from League of Legends. <laughs> what was your knowledge of the Forge? Secret to okay. its operation book. Disguise Maybe we get some extra extra. By magic. I'll see now. Maybe we get some extras on the Forge. At least things have stayed interesting. Alright, let's see. We got Shadow of... Menzo Beranzan. Of course. How can I judge a name like that? What is this? Shrouded in Shadow. That's good for Will, actually. What am I needed? Um. Hold up. Ah, you become invisible. So, if I do this, is this concentration? Ah, it's not good for him, actually. <laughs> it is not good for him, actually. There's no time to waste. The pride of the gate. Oh, you know what? I'll give it to him. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Bro, Will, oh my god, what is this? What is this? Why do you only have this? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm gonna try to figure that one out after the video though, but it got damn. Brother, oh my god, look at those cheeks. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll leave the helmet. It's fine. We we don't use it anyway right now. Uh, whoops. You know what? It's fine. 
I need to kind of. Despite everything. Okay, dude has ten items on him. Mating ritual. What? Read. The cover proudly announces this book to be Flumph Mating Ritual. I highly doubt, though. This is probably the one for the Adamantine Forge. Surely. If the drow's corpse is to be believed, it's something else entirely. Yes. Shred appear through the illusion? Oh my god. Nah. Um, actually. Oh, we can use ceremony coming of age. Interesting. Can I roll, please? Oh my god. The minus. It's fine. It's fine. Scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. Okay. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging Adam. What is wrong with your eyes? Oh my god. Okay. That is a long read. Hold up. Among the Sharon's wealthy gnome, Silu Viali, whose talents for wizardry were known, a candle keep the sorcerer. Under his tutelage, the Sharon's built a great forge. Okay, we don't care about that. Uh, the jewel of Viali's eye was not f the forge itself, but the protector he conjured. Oh, okay, so that's the boss. Raw mithril ore and a proper mold. Place the ore and mold into the respective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer, prepare the ore for smelting, open the valve to allow lava into crucible, and drop hammer again to force product. That's it? Motherfucker, I thought you would tell me something about the mithral slags, or whatever those are. Hill giant finger. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet Kremiel can put that somewhere. She seems to enjoy it. The pain that is. <laughs> Um, let me just pick this one up. Might as well. Can I pick up the glowing gem? I am bone chilled. What is this? Fluorite sword. Common item. Okay, we don't care about it. There's another backpack here. Rotten eggs, carrot, false life, stroll of old person, and some wine, sure. Alright. Well, we found nothing. I was actually expecting to find some more on the Adamantine Forge. <laughs> Apparently not. Surely there has to be something else in here. I don't think I've explored this place entirely. <laughs> the Stark to uh, Blur. What is random Hobgoblin doing here? I don't recall. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. Yes, of course. The scholar's brow tenses. Weird how he's not a fanatic of the absolute. Connecting mind to mind. Something definitely wrong with Romeo's eyes, though. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Okay. <sighs> or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Okay. I've never heard of Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. Interesting. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? A mind flare infected me with a thought pull. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? So they hold more power in the Underdark? Let me just explain. You were he seems like a decent goblin. 
Hobgob Goblin. Miracle, you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. A friend, you say? Omelium. Omelium. This is important, Blurg. Oh, that sounds like a mind flare. Constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No, oh my God! It is a mind flare. That's impossible. What the fuck? But in hey yo! Look at that head, bro. To have it extracted. Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Shut up. Please hold. I understand. I am not racist. One of my Look at that mouth, brother. I can barely see it, though. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, Let's check that those teeth. Jesus. Okay. Not the colonies of my people. Yeah, my shadows are too good with the reshade. I can't see his mouth because it's being covered by the tentacles. <laughs> Which is actually how it should work, by the way. Uh, the Myconids wouldn't appreciate us fighting here. I'll listen. Fool. They infest your head and invade your dreams and still you would parley. I ask only uh, that you They can't do shit anyway. They are being shielded. My kind may be charged. Also, this one seems different. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Of course. Relax and let Omelium search your mind. Sure. Sure. As Omelium's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. Ah. But the oh, I should be transformed into hentai by now. Magic. Apparently not. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Yes, we are being protected by, uh, well, the guide from Plains of Adolon or whatever. Uh, that's. That's a Warframe expansion. <laughs> I just recalled. I forgot what they call the... The sky, if you know what I mean. They're somewhere in the galaxy, okay? Can you extract that ball? No. It appears yes, to be it is shielded, shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve... Severe cranial trauma. Figures. This is why I would not let the fucking bard put the needle in my head. Alright, bashing my skull is just part of the day's work. We have the barbarian wallet. Hmm. Sure, let's go with the barbarian one. <laughs> ah, we die. Wait, but I am undead. And your skull along Wait, could I remove my illithid because I am undead? But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily... Could I tell this guy to... Um... Could I tell him to remove Tadpole because I am undead? Game doesn't know this. <laughs> but I could technically revive. A Fascinating. Why the tentacles be floating though? Foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Okay, thanks for the info. But is there any way I could maybe, you know, remove the that pole now? I have an idea. An idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. 
There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Okay. Bypass? Uh, isn't the stasis like the tadpole hasn't killed us yet, though? I do not intend to shatter its protection. Okay. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Okay. What kind of alchemy, though? Distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. Hmm. They have subtle psionic influence. I would so... a fresh tongue of madness. Tongue of madness? And timusk spores. What? But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Yeah, we going to trippy town with this one. Those that approach them. The town is self-explanatory. Hmm. Lovely. Where do I find these? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery... Perilous. Okay. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She um, served Mistra as a cleric. Lenore. 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 Where, where does this Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although her tower does have a tendency to move. Motherfucker, what? Moving tower? Alright, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. We need, before we travel further, we need to see if this guy can remove said tadpole. If anybody can, surely an illitid, an actual proper illitid, could do it. Alright, let's check, um, let's see, Lenore, where Lenore at? Where is Lenore? Okay, I'm confused. Hold up. Where is Lenore? I am confused. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Alright. Um, yeah, I am very confused right now. Where is Lenore? They said in the Underdark and that her tower moves. What? Surely it's not the Ar Arcane Tower. But maybe. Is it? I'm, I'm confused. Is it the Arcane Tower? We have to check. Gotta check the arcane tower again. Alright, Will, uh, not Will, Gale. Where is Gale? Oh, he's still here. <laughs> Alright. What is the fastest way to arcane tower? I wonder. Up there... And okay, kind of. Let's see. Oh my god, I kind of nailed that TP. Also, I need to do this. And Shadow Heart needs to do this. Ooh. Oh! Wait. This doesn't... Does this use a spell slot? 
Confusion. Very much confused. It's fine. I am surprised this actually works on the undead. I'm not gonna lie. 21 HP on Gale sounds uh, much better than 11. I'm gonna tell you that. Alright. We need to make sure we get to Arcane Tower fast. So, yeah, this is it. Okay, I, I tried to be very fast, but I am unable to be that fast. That is much too fast for the game. But we'll go like this. Most excellent. Alright, we are back at our Arcane Tower. Our Arcane Tower has uh, been found again. Now, we need to search for Tongue of Madness and uh, Tim Timask Spore. I will descend first. Tongue of Madness, this is it. Okay. So we should have been sent here by dude. Well, we found a tower anyway. It's fine. We also dealed with... Uh, we, we have actually dealt with the Bernard. Or whatever his name was. Timusk. How do I... Um... How, how do I collect? I need Dimusk Spore. What if I do this? How do I collect? The, the Timusk is obviously here, but how does one collect? Let me descend again. Maybe there's something down there and I didn't see. Surely we find some Timusk spores somewhere in this tower. Or maybe outside. Bullywog trumpet. No, that's not what we need. Blue cap. No. Bullywog trumpet over there. We don't need bullywog trumpets. I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chickens. Where is the Timusk spore? It should be in the tower. If I just ruined my thing by hitting the spores. So, a vampire spawn and a monster hunter in the same group. We're not going to have trouble, are we? Excuse me. Since this tower Bro, I like these interactions so much. I just want to survive, same as you. What if barrel? As long as Mr. Fang there keeps his appetite in check. All right, we'll shut up. We both know Asterion claps your cheeks, especially with those underpants. Where is this thing? Anything in them barrels? Let me hit doubt on that one. Um Oh, I have Timusk spores on me? Bruh. Good thing I checked. I would have been just uh, you know, searching around for days for no fucking reason. All right. Where exactly was this guy again?
This is outside, it's not the way. Was kinda here? Hey, there we go. Alright, let's try. Let's see what we get. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I found the shrooms. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omelion turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. Alright, no we're going to trippy town. Drink! The potion is <laughs> disgusting beyond description. Succeeded constitution, that is good. Is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. Okay. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Monastic? What? Ten plus... Advanced? Question mark? Advantage? Okay. Nah. Use meditation, of course. Um, resistance. Yeah. Damn, we got a 27. Drawing on a lifetime of practice you center yourself. Your body is an anchor, implacable and calm. Surely this is because of the Frieza clan uh, subclass. It's fighting the potion even harder than you or the, the Dragon Ball, rather. Like I think they're all kind of like subclasses of the monk. To hollow out your skull. Which is why we got the monastic thing. Fear? What's that? How does fear be eaten? <laughs> okay, surely. There we go. We got bliss spores. Very cool. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt. Oh before. shit, he's reacting. It's surges. Scurmy fella. Lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omelon, are you well? That lava is like nothing Bro. I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Bro, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. You were supposed to make it weaker, not stronger. You have my deepest apologies. The larva did not care for my intentions. No. Larva definitely did not care. Or more like it cared too much, it grew stronger. Ah. What's, what's next? Cutting off my own hair? Such crude destruction not waylay a lava like this, but there is another possibility. I possess... Ring of Mind Shielding? Interesting. It prevents Elder Brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift. But, in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Hum. Okay. <laughs> I could go with the, uh, I'm gonna kill you if you don't. 
Hmm. I have gold. Or I could persuade, but I could fail because I'm bloodless. Hmm. But motherfucker, why would I pay you for that? If it wasn't for these mind flayers, I wouldn't have to deal with this. Come on. There we go, just barely. That is true. And I cannot imagine many other mind flayers will offer restitution. Here, it is yours. Dankeschön. May it serve you as well as it has served me. Nice. Helps not to judge a book by its cover, doesn't it? Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Alright, so we got a ring that is supposedly gonna help us with the larva. You have advantage on saving throws against Charmed. Interesting. Well, that's not gonna help us at all with the larva, I think. Well, you never know. Oh. I think we got this by doing the potion. Interesting. Uh, I need to put on Aura of Terror. Because I forgot. Let's see, what else did I forget? I need to fix that real quick, so I don't have it forgotten anymore, if you know what I mean. A hero with heart. Um, don't burn yourself. Give me a sec, I need to figure this one out. Oh, we got the bite. Oh, he has vampire bite. This heals him. Interesting, so he got even more heals. Asterion's bound to be hella strong. Just ain't no way he's not at this point. Alright. Why is appearance editing randomly here though? That makes no sense. Oh my god, everything is weird all of a sudden. Hold up. What has happened here? Okay, this is better. Not ideal, but better. Okay. Forge? I need blessing of the forge. Who do I give the blessing to, though? Do I give it to Will? I give it to Shadowheart. We got 20. Kremiel's got... You know what? I will give it to Kremiel, because she's got 14. I will bless Kramiel. There we go, blessing of them forges. Anything else? Oh. Well, perhaps after I finish my research here, I'll join her. Should I use Shield of Fate? Like now. Um, there is so much stuff in here. Oh boy. Alright, give me a sec. I need to get rid of all this nonsense. There we go. There we go. Too much stuff is not good. Okay, I got Ceremony and Prayer of Healing. I think that's it. So, we got the ring. What is next? I really don't know what to do. I mean a pickle. All that's left is for me to find a way to use the thing. Let's see. Do I straight up travel to uh, Murai's Towers through Grimforge? I, I think it's time. Or do I go through the mountain pass? I don't know which one is better. If we go towards Git Crush, we may have to fight a dragon, and we may lose horribly. Hmm. hmm. Dilemma, dilemma. Hmm. 
Okay, we have a lot of maps here. Hold up. I need to get out, please. Um, let's see. Volkins rest. Was that it? Got him. All right. First of all, uh, last time I was here with uh, Gale, I believe. I did hear some people talk around here, so let me see if there's. Uh, you know what? Screw that. Let's go straight to the mountain pass. It's fine. Straight to the pass. For some reason, Saza is not doing anything. So I'm not sure what's up with that. We saved Saza. Um, she may be bugged. I don't know. It's kind of weird, honestly. I think we do this because it's much faster than traveling on foot. As per usual. Way faster than traveling here on foot. And then we go towards the mountain pass. Yes. The reason I'm doing this is because I have no ducking clue how to use uh, the thing. We need fairy dust, which we do not have. Fa fa fairy? No. Broken Moon Lantern. We got this. I don't actually know how to use this. I'll try to use it. Broken Moon Lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Is there a way I can maybe make Shadow Heart to use this? Hmm. Because I do have the thing. The Continual Flame. I don't think... I think I can... Nah, I don't think I can... Maybe if I drop it, hold up. I may break my lantern, so I'm gonna save here. Lantern fire attempt. Let's see now. I'm gonna drop the lantern. Like, here. And then I'm gonna do something which I don't normally do. Well, I need to ungroup so these people don't randomly move. And then I'm gonna try the continual flame. This is permanent. This is blue. Hopefully this works. I have used continual flame on this. Uh, it does not seem to work. Oh, I can inspect with Shadow Heart. Okay. Let's see if Shadowheart got something to say about the them pixie dust. Just barely made that. Pixie dust used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Okay, that continual flame is on the ground. That is annoying. I really thought that would work. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. I really just used continual flame. It doesn't seem to work. It's still broken, even though I got continual flame on it. Very weird. Oh well. I have just wasted a spell slot. You know what? I will keep it for now. You never know. It may actually prove useful. Let's go. It is time to... Delve greedily and deeply in what is probably known as Act 2 of the game. I am not completely sure if that's the case though. But we shall see. Wish me luck, boys. Alright, we are at camp. Interesting. Uh, let's talk to Karlak. Hey, soldier. We've got a long way ahead of us, and there's something I want to tell you. 
Don't worry. Oh, you want a bang? It's nothing bad. Well, depending. Probably. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Things been running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I've been making the most of the extra heat. But it's meant I can't get too friendly. If I'm excited, nervous, scared, I'll light you up like a firework. Um, you got a mechanic? Uh, what does the engine allow you to do? Maybe we get something to talk about, like, um, hmm, let's see, soul coins? Burn, baby! As hot as I can tolerate. I have to admit, it helps in battle, though I wouldn't have chosen it for myself, if I'd been given a choice. I'll tell you the story, but I really need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. I don't First doubt you're literally flaming. They let slip. They met an infernal mechanic this in Saiyan area. is straight up god I level, permanent. I didn't see him you know what anywhere. I mean? Uh, if you don't, well, just watch Dragon Ball Super. Remember, we did make Carl like a Saiyan. Kind of goes with whatever she's got going on. Both the Barbarian and the Flames. Let's see. Um, what'll happen if you don't get tuned up? Who knows? Maybe I can run like this indefinitely. But There's gonna be a lot of Dragon Ball references, by the way. That is, if I find the correct timing for them, like just now. We are doing this because, well, I like this mod. And I was looking for a way to integrate it. And uh, we, we are also kind of making a tribute to Akira Toriyama's death. The good old papa of anime, of modern anime. Modern power-ups, that is. Thanking you. A tune -up with Unfortunately, he has passed. I am actually kind of scared for the future of Dragon Ball, but... But... It seems to be in good hands. So I will not judge. Not until I see Dragon Ball Daima. That is. Okay. Well, nothing else seems to be here other than... Should I talk to Withers again? Maybe I get the respect, though I doubt. What's up for discussion? Fate spins along as it should. Okay. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Yeah, how about you help me with my, uh, you know, oath breaker thing? Thou hast broken thy oath. Before I can aid thee, thou must attack. I am trying! I don't know how! Motherfucker, help me! <laughs> How do you atone? I am actually trying at this point. I don't... I don't know. Th that's also one of the reasons why I keep exploring so much. I am trying to remove the Oathbreaker tenets. The Oath tenets, yes. Needs to be removed. So I can respec. I don't know how. It's fine. <sighs> infernal iron, infernal alloy. We just need to figure out how to deal with Carlac's engine. Alright. We need a blacksmith. And we need to go to bed. Was this the night uh, thing we got? The night event? The one where we spoke to Karlak? Whoops. Okay, I can't control. I'm incapacitated. Why? Ah. Your armor squirms, squirms against your body. Ready to evolve. It struggles, seemingly not having enough energy to do so. Perhaps you need to set it some more. How? Again, you wake up... 
to a softer body, your full curves and supple limbs seem more appropriate for a bordella than a life on the road. You have now grown used to the grace of your new body. I am getting thick. Hmm. Look at those cheeks. All right. Um, well, sure. But at the same time, what? <laughs> okay, we need to move on. I also need to reapply everything, apparently. And I also need to leave camp. We need to go. We are on the road to the mountain pass. We are 1 hour 35 minutes into this video. Ah, it took us a full night to travel from here to there? What? Flaming fist helmet. What? Examine. Medium armor. Constitution saving throw. I'll take this. Okay, I've never been here. This is the land of no return for me. I have never been here. Um, I, I, I will probably start sucking even more. So, y'all that do not like how I've been playing so far, you're, you're probably gonna start hating even more. I'm sorry. Y'all gotta remember, this is the first time I've even been here, and it's basically the first time I have played through the entire game like I am doing right now. Uh, Moonrise Towers, I am assuming. Githyanki Temple? Okay, and then... Follow the mountain path. Interesting. Well, th th there's bound to be a lot of exploration. So, um... Yeah. Hello. Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Temple below. Tirsu script, you said. What, what does it mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Okay. Uh, how do I know I can trust your people? Last time we got destroyed, if you recall. To trust them. Only to trust me. I, uh, Mother Yoker, I gotta trust you, I guess, but I don't trust your people. I don't they got a dragon. For it to be true. Is it just me, or do the visuals look better now than they looked before? Hmm. And I think the reshade amplifies it even more. <laughs> okay. The visuals do actually kind of look better than they looked in the other side of the map. Or rather, on the other map. Uh, do let me know, by the way, if this is in fact known as Act 2 of the game. I wouldn't know. I am just assuming. Because I am moving forward and I don't think I can go back. Um, I, I'll lead us there in my own time. I, we need to stay close if we are to survive. Chuk. Very Chuk. well. <laughs> but promise me we will return before our chance is lost. Else I make my way there alone. Ah. I promise. I promise. Look at uh, Astadio's face. Oh my god. Initiate date. We leave. We leave. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna initiate date. Not for YouTube, anyway. Okay, my camera was acting a little bit funny, so I had to fix that real quick. Alright, we go this way, question mark? This is the closest route. Oh, this is definitely better looking than uh, what he had previously, I believe, in the other zone. We have some blood, some civilians. I am... Oh, 
I just realized we don't have to reapply anything. Good thing I checked, though. Alright, uh, I like the music. Uh, not gonna lie. There is a goblin camp. What? Oh, wait. No. Wait. What? Different region? Venture forth. What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna save. Because I don't know where this takes me. I will override the other save and let's let's see. Yes, yes, yes. This is probably gonna go backwards though. Towards uh, the stronghold. But if it's not, well, well, we have met something new again. And by we, I mean I. Yes, and my party. Come on. Come on. Okay, uh, we are still... Wait. Oh. Okay, there, there are three ways to go here. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we going back. Yeah, okay. So if you recall, there, uh, there is kind of like um, another route we found in Goblin Village. Or rather, to the side of the Goblin Village. There were a couple of guards. And I was not aware you could actually get, well, to the same path as the other one. You know what I mean? But it's right here. It is right here. We got a plague. Let me read. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Okay. Lathander, god of the dawning sun. Huh. There is a backpack here. Who goes there? Lady Esther? Wait, why do I remember this name? Oh, that's the one that was, uh... She was up there with the git, no? I don't recall. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. How is that the worst? <laughs> Do you see that wretched little hive? Um. Lanthadarian Monastery, a site of pilgrimage. How is it wretched? Hmm. Oh, I mean no offense to the morning lord. I simply prefer when his monasteries aren't overrun with brutish, stupid, rude Gith Yankee. Oh no, Lazel's gonna be offended. By your wretched standards. But stupid. Kchucky. Kchucky? Your charming companion <laughs> would call it a crash. But it was built on what remained after the Gith Yankee slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training Agreed. Camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing. I am delighting on Lazel's face, though. Eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy a what? The... What? No, of course not. I was merely. Well, uh... look. It's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance ah, asked me to acquire he's one of those. so they can incubate. Society of Brilliance. Hmm. Raise the spore. I think that's gonna be the name of this video. Society of Brilliance, because you enlighten me. What is this? It's basically kinda encompassing what we've done in this video. What we've been doing. In a peaceful, nurturing environment. Yeah, society of brilliance. Its violent nature, 
I'm sure your friend would agree. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Hmm. So we've met a hobgoblin that has been with the Society of Brilliance, that is not with the Absolute, and has a Mind Flare as a friend, basically. And then now we meet this lady that's also part of Society of Brilliance, that is trying to buy a Githyanki egg? Child? Question mark? Uh, yes. Violence is thought. Um... You know, I'll go with the Paladin one. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. <laughs> Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. Hey, teach her a lesson, Lady Esther. Just bring me an egg. Alright. Um. I, I will not kill Lady Esther. I'm sorry. That said, she does kind of want to steal a child basically a baby uh, well a, a baby to be he's not born yet but still um i'm not getting involved in this pity you'd have become rather rich had you the proper sense should you change your mind you know where to find me i'm not gonna fuck with this because it's gonna fuck with lazel have a lot on my mind and we don't want that all right, let's go. On the road it is, but the Society of Brilliance are doing some weird shit. But there's a high road. Let's see, mountain pass. We have to follow it. This one? Ah. So um, there's a signpost. North Rosy Morn Monastery, West Moonrise Towers. Surely we're... Do we try to do what the... Bro, I don't really want to fuck with Lazel. If you know what I mean. Well, maybe that was just the climb. Hmm. I don't want to fuck with the gits. It's gonna, it's gonna get annoying if I do. You know what? Sure, let's accept the society. Have you given any more thought? To the retrieval of that Gith Yankee egg? Uh, let's leave and let's start this with Lazel. Well be done. Stop there! Not one step further. Okay! I left your stupid crash while you're still chasing me. I don't even want your bloody eggs! You kinda do though. My eggs? <laughs> You there's a crush not hmm. from the crash. Oh how fortuitous and not just because you're not trying to kill me. I would be happy to reveal its extremely secret location if you'd be willing to perform one small favor for Surely me. Surely it's okay if Lazel's the one that takes the egg. Yankee egg, which may sound a little unsavory, but I swear. This is all for an excellent cause. Which is? Uh, I'm amazed you escaped the crush alive. Oh, they were pure savages. Not like you. I'm sure you would appreciate that this is all in the name of knowledge. Inside that temple lies one of your crushes, which I gather has its very own hatchery. Presumably chock full of eggs. So these gits the get out of eggs? Of me to acquire Are they chickens? Your people's rows so they can incubate it and once it hatches, raise it in their tradition. 
They believe a gift Yankee raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Hmm. Bring me an egg. I can deliver. Lazelle obviously does not like it, but and you will be well rewarded. So, what do you say? Hmm. You know, killing you is going to be very, very satisfying. What if I do this with Lazel? It's kind of going against Lazel's nature, and I would definitely not roleplay here. But... Fine, but I want payment up front. Let's, let's, let's try this. It's very much against Lazel's nature to do what I'm doing right now, and uh, if you are very fond of role-playing, just know that I'm about to butcher your fondness of what I've been role-playing so far with everything. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. Yes. Very well. Here's the I'm only doing this with Lazel because I'm hoping this does not affect um, Kremiel. Ooh, up front for 60. 460, no scope. Alright, I'm gonna trust Lazel with this one. It's time we played with Lazel a little bit. So I am assuming this is the way to the crash. Approach the fairy in Lathander's Grace. Okay. May his gaze shine upon you, Pilgrim. Alright. Um, cable car wheel. That will not work. Why not? Yeesh. Okay. Not enough strength. Lazel not strong enough. What? Let me try again. Oh my god. Random. It is a die. Let me roll again. Come on, brother. Give me a 10 plus. Jesus. How is this okay? Alright. <sighs> this is painful. I will do the ritual. Because I don't really feel like I got a choice at this point. Please. Thank you. I don't want to waste the elixir. Alright, gotta remember, we got a lot of punches. We got blood damage, force damage, and then we have this to recover our energy from the Dragon Ball thingy. Come on, get on the thing. Oh my god. Thank you. Damn, look at the view. Okay. The view kind of nice. Shame I can't go into first person. Oh, this almost, uh... That was almost first person because of the angle. Alright. So, we could go down, but we are not gonna do that. We are gonna do the thing. Potion of greater healing. Arcane cultivation. Pilgrim's... Prayer, Pilgrim's Curse. I will just read this real quick. Remember, last time I read everything, I got an achievement. So I'm expecting another one soon-ish. If only I could click. Click, click, rather. Please. I can't. You're just a fucking sham. All right. I, I tried. Okay. Another one. Let me drop this. Again, y'all can just pause the video, read that real quick if you want. Where exactly am I supposed to be going, though?
Ah. I see. All right. We got a TP. Let's go. Waypoints discovered. All right. Let me summon the group. Just to make sure they're here. And I will be heading with Lazelle inside. Not Cremiel. Because I kind of need Lazelle to be the first That's one. Enough. On your feet. Taking us. A grandma, another grandma. Was talking about. We don't have it, and we don't know shit about it. Silence. I kill you. Move. No. no. Goofy ass Grinch, motherfucker. I won't. No, don't do that. You're gonna get shot. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we don't like that. We don't really like that. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Just random they're just now, randomly killing people. Actually. Randomly killing people for no for no fucking reason. Forward, carefully. There was no reason to kill her. Have the crash on high, alert. high alert is an understatement, sister. The cultists have made enemies of my people. They will be eager for my help. Doubt. But sure. We shall see how well your face. We need Gale. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. Ah. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Is this the na narrator telling me to stay the fuck away? I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> no one stopped me yet. Well, back to Crimeo. Okay, so the the narrator even tells me to stay the fuck away. And now I ah. Uh... Now I want to go there. All right, how do I do this? How does one do this? How do do this? Can I go down? Kind of. Not sure why I'm going down, but sure. Maybe I can find a secret passage into the temple. Ooh, an elegant chest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, bonus to initiative. That is good. Is this until long rest? Because I'm gonna do that. Where is it though? Hold up. Where, where are you at? I can't be surprised. Bonus action, single use, until long rest. I mean, you know I'm gonna do that. Especially since I had the bloodless, but I don't have it anymore, I guess. I'm not sure why I'm here, but the view, god damn! It's kinda nice. I'm actually hoping this leads into the temple. It should be leading into the temple. Ah. Dead people. I could have used Gale to get here faster, but... I might as well do the walk. You know what I mean? Ooh. Ah. Gotta remember, my curiosity is getting the better of me. That is a bust. Uh, bust. Stand your ground. Keep them busy. What? Talking statues. We have I don't like the, the sound lens. of that. All right, Gail. Talking statues often herald trouble in my 
experience. How does Gale feel, Orcana? We have to fire the lance. Sharp as ever. A talking Bro. Now, was that a warning or a command? Ain't no way. How does both Will and Gale fail the Arcana? What? Ain't no way Carla gets it. Talking statues. I don't like the sound of that. A magic mouth. Okay. Whoever owned that voice, there must be no dead. Magic mouth spell. Interesting. Okay, there's a bunch of blood in here. I don't like it. Inventory offerings. Inventory of offerings. Draw to the monastery. All right. Well, now a barricade. Yeah, well, you know what I gotta do. Put him down. I shouldn't be here. I mean, the game literally told me I should not be here. And yet I'm doing it anyway. Both for your entertainment and for my curiosity. But you know what they say. Curiosity might have killed a cat. Or two or three. Or more. There's nobody here. Where the hell? Ardem gets. Let me go get the grease bottle. You never know when this is gonna come in handy. Ocean of mind reading? I mean, we don't need it, but sure. What do you mean I can't reach? Oh, it's on the other side. A lever. Ah. Damn, look at God. Scroll of Gust of Wind. I'm, you know what? I don't need these. Though they are locked. Ah. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, I need to do this. Because if they're locked, they're, there's probably an achievement. Read. Okay. Read. All right. What to do? Move. Thank you. Log of visitors. Uh, to Rosimond Monastery. Why you co-towing though? Why you dead while co-towing co though? Beloved morning, Lord. I must request of thee a reverential reverie. <laughs> ah. Oh! The stone disc has Gizyanki rules carved into it. Belong... Uh, Many supplies found, the local area good for hunting, more Gremishka infestation. What the fuck is Gremishka? Okay. Lots of valuable goods to be found on the ground, can, can be traded off after best bits are shipped back. The treasure room will prove a fitting location for the establishment of a military intelligence office. Okay. Mlarihal. You know what, let me pick this up. Let me pick that up, because I got another one. Dirt Mound. We do got the Gale's thing. A lack you light. There's a Cobalt Looter. A what now? A Cobalt Looter. All right, Gale. Lost in I trust you with this. I'm gonna do the invis. I can make anybody invis. That's kind of cool. 
Can you all stop moving? I need to click Gale. Thank you. Alright, let me do the bonus action. Surely I'm still in this. Uh, I am, actually. Okay. Oh my god, there's a bunch of cobalt in here. Bruh. Let me close the door. Okay. Let me call my party. And then I did not think about this one. Gotta remember I do have this. Which is also one of the, the reasons why I did not put the, the Dragon Ball into him yet. Oh, this is a beam. An actual proper beam. Okay. Well, y'all better move. Firewine. Um, we need to get... The read of the Firewine barrel. We'll pick that up real quick. Let me hit you. A crit. A critty crit. Yes. We got them looter. Alright, it's time. Opening the door, getting in. I'm not gonna burn the place down. Hopefully I can one-shot the... What? Okay. They just randomly woke up. It's fine. Why is Carlac glitchy? What the flick? Of the wrist. Alright. Gotta remember, she's a Saiyan now, so... Things are gonna get more interesting. First of all, I need to rage. Let's see. Tail? It makes so much sense with Karlak now that she's a Saiyan. It makes so much sense. Alright, we melee. Uh, for some reason, I can't hit this one. There we go. What's it gonna take? Hit him! Reckless. Boom, baby! Get him! Okay, we don't care about Bestial Soul. It's literally useless. For now, anyway. Great. And then, uh... Let's see now. I have disadvantage on everything. What? Why? How do I not have enough movement? That is weird. Is this melee? Can I do this? How exactly do you use this? Yeah, I'm not gonna use this just yet. This is very OP, actually. Like, very, very OP. Why am I at disadvantage, though? Come on, dude. How am I unable to hit? Bonus. Not ideal. Can I sneak? Nope. Autopsy from over here? Nope. I mean, I can do this, apparently. Do I have any range on this Yoker? Not really. It's fine. I mean, this should be an easy fight. Ah. Cobalt smells like it's been swimming in wine. One spark and things could get heated. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. I need to do the Dragon Ball. So, I, I might as well. It's time. This could be bad, but 
Let's see. A level four it is. All right, this is a times 100 Kamehameha from Dragon Ball GT when Goku was Super Saiyan 4. Let's go. Bitches! How did I not hit that one, though? All right. That looked very cool, though. See, now, that's one of the reasons why I did not uh, make him a Dimension Traveler just yet. Because that's very cool. That is very cool. Let's see, this is an action. It's also a level 4 spell. So I'm not gonna use it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Let me just go up. For some reason I just can't move. Really? Really? Hey, no way. Alright, let's see. Where do I go so I don't get hit? Also, I don't get flamed. You know what I mean? Alright, Kremiel's gonna deal with this one. Seriously? How do you miss a drunk fool? Oh, I got Quick Punch as a bonus. Nice. Bitch! He the needle! Poison damage! Very cool! <laughs> Gotta remember, I am Frieza class now. That is actually very cool. And I can't fly. With everybody. Okay, I have so many spells that it's starting to become a little bit crowded. Of course, Shadowheart can jump here, but nobody else can jump this high. What is that? What is up with that? Uh, what does Fairy Fire do again? Incoming attacks have... Advantage cannot be invisible. Interesting. I did have that. I completely forgot about it. I also completely forgot that I can fly. Which is gonna be extremely useful. For when I do stuff like this. Alright, I'm just gonna... Get in here. Because Liz Lizel does have cleave. And uh, this should technically hit at least two targets. How do you miss, bro? Oh my god. You know, it's very annoying when my characters just randomly miss. Because randomless, randomness intensifies. Alright, Karlak, do your thing. Hit him. I'm gonna strong punch? No, I'm not. I think this actually hits way harder. Oh, everybody can fly, so Carla can just get in there. Which is very cool. If only... God, the placement is so weird! Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I think this just made the, the game way easier, actually. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I will sneak attack. Just so I can do the exsanguinating strike. -o? Boom, baby. And then, do I bite? Until long rest. No. What? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna deal with these kobolds, and then we stop the video. Because, yeah, it's kinda... 
It's kind of long at this point. All right, how, how is the damage? 12 to 30. Damn! The fact that I got three level fours. Yeah, that's just one shot him, basically. Very cool. This is my time. All right. You finally got some height advantage. Surely one kills. Nice. Keep in mind, he's supposedly doing more damage because charisma modifier. Because I gave him the thing. I forgot what that thing is. Flying is going to be extremely useful when I actually need it. Right, I don't think I can do anything else here. Focus. I'll just skip. I am, death. I am just skipping so I can speed this up a little bit because the video is very long right now. And it needs to end. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I just beat the fuck out of some cobalt in this monastery. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but it is what it is. I will check this. What? Is there anything here? It doesn't look like there's anything here. There is something there that the game is showing me. Not exactly sure what that is. Alright, uh, before I go any further, I will stop this video right here. I don't think I can go, um, well, any higher. Can't click on anything. I can jump, actually. I can also fly if I need it. So, gotta keep that in mind. There is definitely something down here. So, I will have to check. Alright, that's it. Before I check anything else, because apparently I can go even higher, um, we end here. I think I've actually showcased why Gale has not uh, received the Dragon Ball treatment just yet, because he basically has the times 100 Kamehameha from Dragon Ball GT's Goku. The red version. Yeah. And, um... Next time, we're, we're gonna have to try to deal with the Githyanki. Yes. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the content. Do let me know in the comment section below how you like the content so far. Bye-bye.